welcome to the church of St Mary's Chalcombe, part of the benefice of St Mary's Chalcombe and St Stephen's Lansdowne. Hello, welcome, I'm Philip Hawthorne, the rector of this wonderful benefice and you are very welcome. I've just been away cycling for a couple of days in Gloucestershire but even with all that cycling it doesn't make the approach up to the church any easier. Here's my bike. Right, let's see, see how we get on. Right, here we go. Oh. St Mary's is the oldest church in Bath. It's a thousand years old. And whenever I, I come up this path, which I do uh, quite a lot, I always think of the millennium's worth of people who have walked or ridden or driven or cycled up here and uh, I'm filming this in the morning and look at that beautiful light as you approach here what a great job here we are here's the church and there's that lovely sunlight which is bathing our garden so beautifully this lovely autumn day right let's go on into the church where we're all set for our worship this morning oh. the church is open during the day so we may get people coming in to join us but that's all fine Whew. there was there was one hill that we climbed um, called Windmill Hill uh, near a place called Ilmington and um, it was an absolute monster and uh, it was quite a warm day and um, I got really hot but because the hill was so steep, I couldn't reach down for my water bottle. I couldn't risk taking my hand off the handlebars or I'd have toppled into a hedge or a passing car. And I think that feeling of longing for that water will inspire our opening prayer. I've put the words for the prayer, which are from the Psalms, in our font. The font was made before William the Conqueror arrived um, in about 1030 and it's carved out of one piece of bath stone and here's our prayer I'm going to leave you to say it in your own time and then we'll say it together oh God you are my God eagerly I seek you my soul thirsts for you, my flesh faints for you, as in a dry and weary land where there is no water. Loving God, may we eagerly seek you in our worship today and in all our days and our moments. Amen beautiful shape it is right. here so you can have a quick look at our lovely church here in Charlton Jesus says to the woman at the well everyone who drinks of this water will be thirsty again but those who drink of the water that I will give them will never be thirsty the water that I will give will become in them a spring of water, gushing up to eternal life. Our reading this morning is from Luke's Gospel, and it's a very familiar story. Just then a lawyer stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he said, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, what is written in the law? What do you read there? He answered, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength 
and with all your mind and your neighbor as yourself. And Jesus said to him, you have given the right answer. Do this and you will live. But wanting to justify himself, he asked Jesus, so um, who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, a man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell into the hands of robbers who stripped him and beat him and went away, leaving him half dead. Now by chance, a priest was going down the road and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. So likewise, a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, he passed by on the other side too. But a Samaritan, while traveling, came near him and when he saw him, he was moved with pity. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, having poured oil and wine on them. Then he put them, then he put him on his own animal, brought him to an inn and took care of him. The next day he took out two denarii and gave them to the innkeeper and said, take care of him. And when I come back, I will repay you whatever more you've spent. Which of these do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of robbers? He said, the one who showed him mercy. Jesus said, go and do likewise. I love that story. A denarii was a, was a day's wages in those days, a, day, a labourer's wages. Do you think how much you earn in a day? Times that by two, that's how much he handed over. And he said, whatever else you spend, I will repay you. It's an, a limitless amount. The next day, the, the day after the Windmill Hill ride, we didn't have that long. So I suggested that we did the ride between Shipston and Chipping Camden, where we were staying. And I'd driven along that road and I knew that it wasn't anywhere near as hilly as we were. I thought it was quite flat, but it wasn't. It's easy in a car when you're driving along a road like that. You don't feel the inclines at all. You just put your foot down a bit and uh, off you go up a hill looking out for cyclists, of course. And then I wondered as I was as I was going up one of the hills on the road, if that's a picture of of our journeys through life. Noticing the painful parts of life, those for whom life is an uphill struggle, those crying out for food or shelter or home. If we're in our cars, we're protected from them, of course, we don't see them. We don't feel the same. Jesus was always able to see people in their struggle and to feel their struggle too and to do something about it. Go and do likewise, he said. Showing mercy was that man's journey to eternal life. Who are your neighbors? Well, all people, says Jesus. Now I was going to preach on the Good Samaritan now, but I saw a sermon by a wonderful American preacher, Barbara Brown Taylor, and I referred to it last week in our online service. And it's much better than I could ever do. So I've put the link to it in the description uh, in the YouTube channel, which you used to get to this point. So do stop the video now and go to that link and then watch the, do watch the sermon. It's only 16 minutes long, but it's really, really fantastic. And I'll join you back here when you've watched it. whether you watched the sermon or not. Here is a prayer for us as we reflect on that story of the Good Samaritan. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and sustain in me a willing spirit. Moment to reflect on those words. Maybe you'd like to use this space just to pray that.
prayer from the Psalms on your own. going to come to our prayers now and uh, we're going to come up to the altar here at St Mary's. We have a wonderful, wonderful flower team here. Look at these flowers for this weekend service. Wonderful. And another arrangement here that we'll use as we reflect and pray. Let's pray together. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry come to you. Loving God, merciful God, help us to be merciful. Help us not just to pray from our safe positions, but stir us to be where you are with those who struggle. Eagerly we seek you. We pray and plead for healing and deliverance for those in the world's troubled places, Afghanistan, For those already affected by climate change. And we pray for the COP26 talks, for bravery and commitment to healing our planet. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry come to you. Pray for those without food or water. For refugees, especially now that winter is coming near. For those who, with no shelter. For political prisoners. And those caught up in modern slavery. Hear my prayer, O Lord, let my cry come to you. We pray for those who are homeless, especially those in our city of Bath here. Pray for Simon and Brian, especially. Pray for those who live in poverty, whom every moment of every day is an uphill struggle those suffering because of the reduction in universal credit. For those for whom debt is a weight around their necks. Those who rely on food bank, an action pantry. And we pray for the agencies who look after them in our city for Genesis Trust, Julian House, and those out workers, outreach workers from Baines. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry come to you. In our diocese, we pray for Bishop Ruth and those finding a new Bishop of Bath and Wells. Archdeacon Adrian, for Stephen, our area dean, pray for healing for his painful back. And everyone involved in the living and love and faith discussions for the unity of our church. For Debbie and Jane and Emma, Andrew and for me. And all in our churches. 
and those we're supporting who are without a priest, St Barnabas, South Down and St Swithins in Bath Ford. Hear my prayer, O Lord, let my cry come to you. We pray for those in our benefice who need God's touch at the moment. For Bill and Mary, Sally and Muriel, for baby Eloise. We pray for Sarah in her last days. For Richard and Tony, for Caroline, Janine, for Alice. And in the space, just hold the names of those you need, you know who need God's touch today. Hear my prayer, O Lord, let my cry come to you. And we pray for those who have died. For John Colgate, who died last Sunday in Bathford. For Christine, Tim and Steve. And we pray for the families of Diane Humphreys, Anne Harris and Jim. And we pray for those known to you. we collect our prayers together as we say together the prayer that Jesus taught us with confidence our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Been wonderful sharing this time with you. Have a really blessed week. Just to let you know, in our benefice, we have a service for all souls on the 1st of November. That's a Monday at seven o'clock. And also we're running our Living in Love and Faith course. Um, starting on the first Wednesday, the 3rd in November, uh, and all the way through November until the first week of December. That's a five-week course on Wednesday evenings at St Stephen's at half past seven. Bless you and look forward to seeing you soon. And may the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. May the rains fall soft upon your field. And until we meet again, may you know yourself held in the palm of God's kindly hand and the blessing of God Almighty, creator, redeemer and abiding spirit be with you and remain with you and all you love, pray for, miss and remember in this moment and for always. Amen. Bless you.